Okay. So how do we start this then? Oh, we're doing it now. Yeah. Yeah. This Are is. Recording? Yeah, this is it. We've been going for two minutes already. Oh. Okay. How are you? I'm. I'm good. How are you? Very well, thank you. You look like you're in a sunny location. I'm in a very, very wonderful and sunny location, meters away from you. Oh. <laughs> Literally, what are you about? you're on the other side of this wall. <laughs> as much as we're pretending that we're in different time zones or different locations. Mm. Yes. Yes. So, yes, thank you for joining me on this call today. <laughs> it's, it's no problem. It is a pleasure to be here. Thank you for taking the time to speak to me. You're very welcome. Thank you for being here. Schedule. Thank you for allowing me to, to, to fit a schedule. <laughs> to fit a schedule. Yes. Okay. Mm. So, I thought we would do a quick chat about celebrating six years of Virtual Umbrella. Six years. And, and in times of pandemic, I thought that this would be a very fitting setup for this. I approve. I agree. Mm -hmm. You have a much prettier background than I do have right now. You're just saying that because of my new PlayStation bag. <laughs> just dated this video because anyone who's seen yep. Twitter knows when I got the PlayStation bag and it's new today. I need to. I realised I need to stop wearing this jumper because I've worn this jumper in like most things I've done online in the last year. That's part of the trick, though. It's because it means they can never figure out if it's a new video or an old video because it's like a uh, trademark. That's a good point. Yeah, I didn't think about that. So, so what you need to do really is you need to buy another, maybe five or six of the exact same jumper. And each one says bad tuesday or bad wednesday bad thursday bad friday yeah yeah friday. i mean my, my i was going to say they were exactly the same so that when you get like curry down it or sauce or something down it you can just wear another one and no one will know but yeah i also agree that i think themed days of the week would work too yeah but yes back to what we're doing here today yes six years of virtual umbrella six years Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? Oh my god, this sounds like a therapy session. Tired. <laughs> There's a man on the roof again. Can you see him? Can you see the man on the roof? Yeah. I'm looking through the... I'm looking through the blinds, it's like I'm spying on him. I wonder what he does I up there. Yeah. I don't know. He's like, he locks that cabinet thing on the roof. And I've seen him putting a, is it a bin? I think it's a bin. But I've seen him putting like tools in there, like brooms and stuff. Maybe it's for shed. Roof shed. Hmm. Hmm. I'm thinking, if it's a bin, how would he get the rubbish down? Well, we've discussed this before. He would just yeet it off the side. Oh, okay. Because the actual, the communal bin isn't that far down below. So if someone opened it for him, I reckon you could throw that in with... It'd be quite easy. You wouldn't have to even be that good of good of a shot. It's quite a big bin. That's true. Mm. That's true. Anyway. Okay. Back to six years of virtual <laughs> bra. Yes. So we've got some things that we're like writing about our six years in terms of reflecting and all that kind of stuff. But that will come out in the week. But... Is there anything that you have been like reflecting upon or thinking about apart from obviously like, you know, the normal like running away and, you know, going to live on a beach somewhere instead? Is there anything you've been reflecting on or thinking about that you'd like to share with the class? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> Great. <Sorry. laughs> No, not really. It's been alright. It's been quite busy. Done some cool stuff. That's 
a great reflection. Thank you for <laughs> participating in this today. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I could help. <laughs> That's very good, thanks. Is this everything you needed? Um, <laughs> hmm. uh, yes. Is there anything I need cool. Um, no, I feel like it's a pretty good going though. That's considering. Um, I would say we probably started the company on a bit of a let's see what happens scenario. Yes, very much so. Very much of a a YOLO decision. A YOLO decision. Also partly to blame by other people, wasn't it, Ben? that said that he was going to buy the domain name if we didn't set up the business. Yeah, the reason the business is officially registered this week, six years ago, is because my housemate said, if you don't register Virtual Umbrella and actually set it up, I'm going to buy the domain name and put porn on it or something like that. <laughs> so, what do you want to talk about? What do you want to reflect upon? Life. purpose. Is there anything interesting that you don't know about Virtual Umbrella apart from that you're annoying? No. Honestly, I don't think there is. Or if there is, I don't know what it would be. I'm far oh. too naive and I'm not observant of the things that actually require observation. So I have no idea if there are things that people don't know about virtual umbrella that they might find interesting. Mm. Um, do people know that you put ha a headset on royalty? They should do. I mean, I, I've, shout <laughs> I've shouted about it enough. <laughs> That's quite a good story though. That's a good like anecdote from the last six years. Mm. It is. Mm -hmm. To be told at another time. To be told another time. <laughs> okay. uh, let's think. Uh, there's another another good one. Um, taking a hundred ish phones through an airport, wrapped in bubble wrap, taped with really uh, grey, suspicious-looking duct tape that made them look like bricks of cocaine. Yeah. Hmm. That was not real. Not realizing until we were wrapping them up what they looked like. That was certainly an experience taking those <laughs> through Gatwick Airport. Yeah, that's true. I just think we never have to do that again. Hmm. I am very grateful that VR doesn't use smartphones anymore for displays. I quite miss it. Why? I think I just, I missed the era of Gear VRs where everything was still a bit dodgy. So do you miss it or are you just nostalgic for it? Probably more nostalgic. Yeah. Because like, I don't remember the last time I had to like use like 10, 20 phones and have to take the batteries out of the back of them because they get too hot and have to swap the batteries around out of the physical back of the phones. And then put them in the headsets. What was it? That was like the uh, the Note 4, wasn't it? That was mm -hmm. the original Gear VR, which had the actual removable back because the S6 didn't. So yeah, yeah. that would be the original, original, yeah. original one. Yeah, you just get really, really hot quickly after maybe 30 minutes, depending on what you were demoing. And then that would be it, yeah. And yeah, your battery would be done in like an hour. Yeah. Yeah. I don't miss uh, taking the massive flight case that we have around the world anymore. Although it was great for when you were sat on a train and there was no seats, so you could use it as a seat. Yeah. I, I will be forever grateful to that flight case for being able to stick mm -hmm. it in like the, uh, the bike racks and just sit on it on mm -hmm. the... Uh, on like the quarter past six train from Waterloo. So it'd be oh, rammed God. going back to Southampton. It'd be absolutely slammed with people, mm -hmm. wouldn't it? It'd just be yeah. there 
hiding out in like a hallway or hiding out in a doorway sat on the flight mm-hmm. case while everyone else is trying to stand or trying to find a seat yeah yeah and our 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 first ever vrpc just died yeah it's it's had a good life i mean mm. the only thing that's died in it is the power supply unit and i will fix it <laughs> i mean it's that computer is going to be like a zombie it's going to be brought back no matter what yeah it'll be fine it'll be brought back to life yeah i need but to I buy a new that, case that is, that, i feel like that was kind of like our first big purchase <clears throat> It was, our, it was our first big purchase and there was absolutely no thought that really went into it. It was just, oh, mm-hmm. we need a PC. Exactly. Okay. And we went and bought it from like John Lewis, like one day. I it was when we were it was when we were at Gadget Show. I got the mm-hmm. train from the Birmingham NEC to New Street. Mm-hmm went to the John Lewis, bought the computer on the credit card, which was like £1,600 or something, maybe even Mm -hmm. more. And then I carried it back on the train and then all the way through the NEC and then to our little demo space that we had. Was that our first, like, the gadget show, was that our first, like, stand, like, without representing anybody else, if you know what I mean? Yeah, it was. Yeah, and that was it. We we spent like <clears throat> three and a half grand, four grand on doing that. And we only did it because they said you can have the space for free. That and was it, yeah. And then, then they were like, oh, but your plugs are going to cost you this much and the internet's going to cost you this much. Mm. And I was at the time thinking, oh, well, this is, I think this is normal. <laughs> I think this is what we're supposed to be paying. Yeah. I mean, it turns out that is what you pay at trade shows and stuff. But, yeah, we were woefully underprepared. Yeah. And then, like, turning <coughs> up and being, like, literally just the laptop. No, the, the PC and the headset. And then this massive space and we just had some pull-up banners. Yeah. <laughs> but we were, like, the busiest stand. Yeah, it turns out people like VR, don't they? Yeah. yeah, like we had to, we ended up having to like, I think the security ended up giving us gates to go around the the space. Yeah. And then we ended up having a queue all the way, all the way around. That was good, wasn't it? Mm. I think that's the first time I got punched in the face with a, what, with a controller. Using a yeah. Yeah. Oh, memories. There's a photo of me somewhere leaning really far backwards and you can see the person's hand out like this with the controller. Yeah. It's like mid matrix. <laughs> oh, I do. I do quite miss um, like the old school demoing. Like. Like a, a like insomnia and EGX and stuff like that. Mm. Where it was a lot it was a lot more one on one, I think, with people. Yeah. Yeah. Um Yeah, and I feel like you could kind of give a bit more of a although you, there was there still was a sense of like rushing people through, but it still felt like if you were in the indie section of like EGX, because you would either be on like a tiny little area, so you would kind of have to be one on one to like do the demo and then like compared to like you know if you had that what one of the stands that we did with um was it with Win- winlands yeah with scitech with scitech and it was like five vibes all set up in a row we had that massive space where that felt a bit more like right we've got to get these people through yeah i think that's why i quite like quite liked the um going back to like roots with like the anonymous tour because that was a bit more one-on-one yeah because you had maybe two three people at a time and they'd take Mm -hmm. it off and then they'd see you straight afterwards and you'd have that opportunity afterwards to speak to them and help them decompress and stuff like that 
yeah. I like those ones. I think doing more of that is uh would be nice at some point in the future when this is all over. Mm. One day. <laughs> One day when the inside times are over. <laughs> that, um, that would I'm be nice. Funny... Yeah, I'm trying to think if we've got any funny stories, like any I've got a lot of horror stories. Which I don't really think I should mention. <laughs> Unless you want to. <laughs> Quick, let's share. Yeah. Let's use this as an opportunity play. to dish on all of the clients that have been rude to us. No. 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 To be fair, like most people, I think that's the beauty of this industry is that there are some genuinely lovely people. Yes. And I think that's a rarity. Yeah, I think that... I think we're quite lucky in the the time that we got into the industry and the fact that we're in the UK meant that everyone kind of banded together a bit. Yeah, exactly. And I think that's a, yeah, I think that's a really nice thing. Uh, it feels very much like a support unit rather than like a, uh, just, just an industry, if you know what I mean? Like, I think there's a, I think we found it when, when we first started trying to get into like the advertising industry. You know, we kind of reached out a little bit and was trying to kind of like talk to the agencies and try and be like that side of things. I found it quite clippy. Oh yeah, a lot of them were dickheads. I mean, let's not <laughs> let's not beat around That's the bush right, for it. Right. <laughs> the bastards. Yeah, a lot. Um, a lot of them were assholes because they either just saw us and just were like, yeah, whatever, or they mm. saw us and said, oh, that's an opportunity for us to like almost take advantage of them. And I think oh, we, yeah. you learn quite quickly, like when someone's taking advantage of you and how to avoid that. Yeah, I think we've definitely, we've definitely learned that. We learned that quite quickly, I think. And also, mm. I think it helped. I think it helped me personally with having a bit of a backbone. Yeah. Like, I'm being a lot more vocal in like when I felt uncomfortable or realizing that actually this isn't worth my time or not worth your time like i think there's a i mean there's been things that have happened and we've had to just get on with it or like a project that's not been a hundred percent like for us and we've just had to do it because of x y and z but i think you just learn don't you that you know what your skill sets are and then you kind of i think you get a feel for people yes very much so but, but there is also a danger of being taken advantage of because I think we're quite laid back and honest and open. Perhaps too much. <laughs> yeah. I think that's that's just that's just growing and learning, isn't it? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. All the things you learn running a business. We run a business? I think so. I've I've heard things. <laughs> I've heard rumours of of these things. I will never, ever, 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 ever work with technology outside. Ever again. Oh, what? You mean uh, in six foot geodesic domes? Yeah. When it's raining mm -hmm. and you're there for a month. <laughs> And it rains for three weeks of that month. Yeah. <laughs> Water mm. plus dome plus outdoors plus technology is just not a great mix. Yeah, I think that's fair. Mm. I think that was the day that I learned the importance of risk assessments when I was uh, oh. plugging, yes. plugging mains cables into... Wet sockets. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> And being like, no, we can't do this. We have a risk assessment that says we won't do this, and be, and mm. then having to actually stick to it and be like, yeah, no, we're not doing it. Yeah, you know? I think that's the first time that I was probably called a bitch behind my back. Probably, mm -hmm. but rightly so, I think, or well, not rightly so. As I in, was like, right. 
Yeah, as in, as in, you were right. You were in the yeah. right. Yeah. The hey ho. Yeah. There are moments, aren't there? And then there are like counter moments where it's like you get projects which are like totally lovely. Yeah, and ninety nine percent of them are. Yeah, exactly. Even the Just ones like... which are even the ones which are awful at the time. You look mm. back on them, and you're like, oh, that was actually really fun, or oh, that that was that was all right. I enjoyed that. Yeah, definitely. I think when you're in it, it's very different. And then when you look back, it's like, oh, okay, that's not as bad as I thought it was. Or like, oh, that was actually really, really, really cool. Yeah. Am I boring you? No. What's wrong? One of the wheels is loose on my tech deck. <laughs> and there's a little spanner that comes with it for tightening them up. And it's, oh my God. it's not on my desk. Up? Right. Continue. Continue. No, I don't want to continue. <laughs> oh, I'm just going to look at the seagulls outside instead. It's okay. Look, 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 look. Got it. Well, okay. Wow. Well done. See, and then you put this in, you tighten the wheels up. Mm hmm. It's very good. It's important. It is it? Oh, didn't say it wasn't. You, you didn't have to say. Can see it in <laughs> the, ca the camera's on. Yeah, I think six years is an incredible achievement, and I think I'm very proud of what we've done. It's half a decade, over half a decade. Yeah, it's, an, it's amazing. Yeah, it is. We have done very well, and yeah, I think it will, wherever it goes next will be exciting and. It'll be nice to be able to uh, see what happen happens after the pandemic and see people in person, which would be nice. Mm, yes. Mm, yes. Mm. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I do try, you know. I try and do these lovely things and it's just, you know, that's what I have to deal with. Are you going to tell everyone about the time that you were doing a presentation and while everyone else was doing their presentations, you were playing Minecraft on the side of your screen? Oh no, because that was like last week. <laughs> I can't tell everyone that story. It's too soon. <laughs> and I was listening to them. I just had Minecraft on whilst I'd done my presentation and I was waiting for the other people to finish talking because then it would go to like the group mm -hmm. Q&A. I was still listening to them. Yeah, okay. It's just my brain doesn't function... Like, I can't just sit and do something. I have to be doing something else at the same time. Like That's what I was doing last week when I was listening to the, the conference that was happening the other week. And I was in here skipping while listening to the conference. Exactly. You, you skip and you exercise. Ooh. I look for redstone and diamonds in the deep caves of yep. on Minecraft. Okay. Yeah. I wasn't judging you, I just thought it was funny. Do you remember that time when we we went on holiday for two weeks and we came back from Bali and then like we had to get off the plane and come home and have a shower and get changed and then go straight into London to do a three day demo? I do. Do you remember the time we went to watch uh Avengers Endgame at midnight mm -hmm. and it finished yep. at three AM? And then I literally went from the cinema to a coach and then flew to Phoenix for four days. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. this is relevant. relevant. Happy birthday. Yay! Happy sixth birthday. That's very relevant. Love it. There we go. Is there anyone that you'd like to thank for support or anything over the last six years? Apart from me, obviously. Father Christmas. Who would you thank? Um, I'd thank uh, Carrie from Ravensbourne. Mm -hmm. Gave us our first contract. Mm -hmm. And who else? I would, I would thank our accountants. 
I would also thank our accountants. <laughs> For getting us out of some sticky messes and mm. helping us really understand accounting. I still don't understand, I just pretend to. Yeah, but we have support now in that area, which is really important. Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. I would thank all of the like staff we've had, past and present. Okie dokie. And with that, I think we'll leave it here. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Can you can you end this on a a exciting quote or And now the end is near and I face the finding the end recording button <laughs> something else here it is <laughs>